What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you an in-depth review video on a 2023 Honda Pilot Elite trim. And we're going to be talking about interior, exterior and some specs about this exact car. But before we do, if you guys do like this video and like our content and you guys want to support our channel because it is not a sponsored video, please tap that like button, subscribe to our channel. Also, here's our email if you got some for us to film. Email us so we can talk details later. Also, keep watching, stay tuned. We're gonna be dropping the MSRP sticker so you guys get an idea of exactly what comes on this car and that price tag on top. Also, a thanks and a special, special shout out to Roseville Auto Nation Honda here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us this beautiful Honda Pilot Elite trim for this review. Now let's go ahead and talk Honda Pilot. So now let's kick this video off with talking about some specs. Now we're looking at the engine in the naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 engine that brings forth 285 horsepower with 262 pounds feet of torque coming together with a 10 speed automatic transmission. A little bit about the MPG is 19 city, 25 highway and a 21 combined with the 19.5 gallon gas tank size. It does come with the IVTM for all wheel drive system, everybody. Now, what do you think about these naturally aspirated? We see a big move towards the green energy type ordeal and seeing a lot of turbo charged engines. But personally, if you ask me, I'm a huge fan of just naturally aspirated engines because to me, it just cries out reliability. And now, yes, it is a Honda. So literally when you think Honda, think reliability. Let's go ahead and drop this hood and talk front end. So we're looking at the 2023 Honda Pilot with the Elite trim, beautiful. We left the hazards on so you guys get an idea of where the blinkers and the hazards are. Chrome trim in that kind of piano black gloss look. The camera integrated with that little nozzle to spray that camera if you're taking it off road and it gets dirty. Big Honda emblem letting you know that you're driving a Honda and the bumper sensor is going across that lower side of that front bumper wanted to also mention the cuts here in the right and left kind of integrating that airflow coming over to that tire tire area now you have the parking markers integrated into the headlights with black housing and again with that nice premium uh led lighting let's come over to the side of the car and get a load of what the pilot looks like the 2023 for anybody who like to know let's talk some length width and height numbers 200 inches in length 79 inches in width and a 72 inch height with a 7.3 inch ground clearance you guys can take it off road and we're going to be talking about the amount of modes literally that you can drive with this car being the all-wheel drive system you also get up to 5,000 pounds of towing capacity now that does differentiate if you do not have the all-wheel drive you drop down to about 3,500 the ground clearance as mentioned is about 7.3 inches let's go ahead and talk wheels and tires now the rim itself is a bicolor rim with that kind of glossy gray with the machine surface silver they are running Bridgestones in the Alenza Sport All Seasons 255 50 20s. The suspension is the regular uh, uh, average shock suspension. And you have, again, the four disc brakes front and back, the brake calibers in that silver. Wheel wheel trim in that matte black plastic. Wanted to show you guys this very durable plastic does take a beating down the line. Coming together, I mean, coming or continuing forward to the side mirror, blind spot assist side mirror. You get that integrated lighting two colors same color as the car and the matte black plastic on the lower side but you have the 360 camera system on the elite now remember if you have different trims just keep an eye out you will not get the 360 camera trim so this pretty much comes with the bells and whistles keyless fob entry dropping down on the bottom side of that rocker panel area you have that kind of matte gray trim on top of that matte black plastic to finish, let's go ahead and open the door, show you guys what it looks like with the door open, okay? Now let's go ahead and close that. Coming over to the rear end, your gas tank lid. The rear end itself, the newly designed or the new look on the Pilot is phenomenal. Yes, the signal lights are halogen, but you have the LED brake lights. Uh, back lights are the LED. Pilot going across on that black, piano black gloss trim. 
Up top, you have the lighting that comes integrated into the spoiler. Now that spoiler is two colors in the same kind of gray color as the car with the piano black trim look. Windshield wiper dropping down, bumper sensors on the lower side of that bumper, finishing off with, again, that matte kind of gray look in that diffuser area. You do have a dual tip exhaust, one on the right, one on the left, with your parking reflectors right over those exhaust tips. All wheel drive letting you know that it is all wheel drive and Elite letting you know that that is the trim. You do have a camera with a camera washer nozzle right over the license plate also. And again, if you got the Elite, you get the top of the line bells and whistles. You also have the option of opening the tailgate hands free. Very cool and I do not have the key on me right now, but I would show you that if I did, but you can open it from the key fob. You can open it from the button and also hands free. And that is very convenient because if your hands are full and you got groceries or the kiddos in your hands, you could open that tailgate. Let's go ahead and pop open this tailgate by the press of a button. Very convenient, auto assisted lift gate. And let's go ahead and talk cargo area. Now, you know this being a three uh, bench car, the cargo area itself, if we were to drop, uh, if we were not to drop, if we were to keep everything up, sorry, 19 cubic feet of space behind that third row. But if we were to go ahead and drop the th uh, third and second row, you get a whopping max of 87 cubic feet. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that right there. And if we were to go ahead and drop those second row seats, you can get a whopping 87 cubic feet of space. Now this is a lot, you can fit a lot, dishwashers, bikes, snowboards, skis, whatever you want, you can drop in here. Groceries, it is a great grocery getter. Wanted to show you guys what's under this mat. Some more space, you got a spare tire underneath the car, that is very convenient. A lot of times manufacturers are stepping away from that spare tire idea. On the left hand side, a cubby room. You have the tailgate button with the 12 volt, 180 watt outlet here on the left. On the right, you have the sub to the Bose premium sound system that you get inside the Elite. Now let's go ahead and lift these back up. In order to lift these up, you have the belt that you just pretty much pull up, just like that. But wanted to show you guys something else, check this out. That sign there lets you know to pull it. So it is kind of dumb proof. Now let's go ahead and push this button. You also can push that button. Sorry, that one is to set the height of the tailgate and this one is to close it. Now let's go ahead, since we're done talking specs and cargo, let's go ahead and jump on the inside. So now let's talk interior of the 2023 Honda Pilot Elite Trim. Now right off the bat, because you get the Elite Trim, what do you get on top as bells and whistles? So starting with number one, heads up display. That is a very cool bell and whistle feature to have. You get the 10.2 inch driver cockpit cluster, that full screen digital, and then you get the heated steering wheel. And then you'll see that button here on the lower side of that steering. And then let's go ahead and talk the leather trimmed seating that you get inside the Elite. It comes perforated with ventilated cooled front seats. So that is something that is Elite uh, kind of brought in with the Elite trim, okay? Now the seats do come heated uh, front with the ventilation and they both are electric controlled. The driver's seat is 10 way electric controlled with memory seating and the passenger seat is four way electric controlled. Okay. Now let's bring the door panel to you. The memory seating buttons for the driver's seat are here. The, uh, little area for controlling the windows and your automatic foldable side mirrors are right here. This is a little control unit, some cup holders, personal room there with your leather armrest and some kind of black gloss design with the metallic silver trim coming together with the dashboard, kind of making it in a uniform look. So shout out to Honda for actually keeping their cars. Now, simple yet also kind of feeling a little bit more rich inside this Pilot. Again, on the left-hand side of the manual steering column, you have the traction control button, the rain sensor button and the tailgate lift button. Behind that leather wrapped steering wheel and the heated steering wheel, you have the controls for the windshield wipers, the lighting and your uh, fog lights that you get in the front with your paddle shifting. So if you wanted to drive in a different mode such as sport, you can go ahead and paddle shift. Something that's very cool here, let's go ahead and press this. 
and you get the camera that you literally initiate by pressing this button here on the side of that uh, windshield wiper control unit uh, lever. So let's go ahead and change your camera angles. And then we go back to that uh, regular home look on that nine inch infotainment screen here. It does come with wireless Android Auto, uh, Apple CarPlay, and then you have also a wireless charging pad for your phone there. Above that, USB-C, USB-A, 12 volt, 180 watt outlet. And then your tri-zone climate control system right above those charger uh, ports. Heated and ventilated seats are right and left. And then the knobs to control your temperatures for each one and your ventilation, airflow, uh, power, all that. Let's go ahead and show you guys a little bit about the um, infotainment screen. I'm gonna go ahead and show you navigation because I always like to show that in our videos. Let's go ahead and go back. And then wanted to show you guys the tech on this is pretty responsive on the touch sensitive. You could go to general settings or vehicle settings, set things like smartphone connection and display, sound camera and all that, voice control. You do have voice recognition inside this elite pilot, okay? Bluetooth audio and all that good stuff. Now, if you do find yourself in the market for the pilot, head over to Roseville Honda. Again, it's not a sponsored video, but we truly tap that like and subscribe button again in this video that uh, we can truly uh, grow with you guys as our viewers. We truly appreciate you guys. Now to finish off with the front of this interior, up top we have the panoramic glass that goes all the way over to the second row seating with electric controlled sun visor. Tilt slide sunroof option. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And then in front of the passenger seat, you have your simple straight to the point glove compartment, okay? Now, we're pretty much done with the front side. Let's go ahead and talk second and third row seating inside this Pilot Elite trim. So let's talk second row seating inside the Pilot. Now, right off the bat, because it's the Elite trim, the two main differences that you get because it's the Elite trim, again, the, I mean, sorry, three, you get the perforated leather on the second row. You have the inverter here that is uh, also an addition and the second row itself comes heated seating okay let's go ahead and close that now let's show you guys pretty much the second row what can i do you have a 40 percenter a 20 percenter and a 40 percenter on this second row seating you can drop this down make it an armrest with your cup holders let's go ahead and pull that belt up you also can remove this and make it kind of an executive or captain chair seating here on the second row and have an aisle way that is also another option you can control these 40% seats by uh, three ways. The lever in the front, you can move it front and back. You have a lever here on the right and left and drop that seat, okay? And then you have a button on the back, which also the third row seaters can use to bunny hop this seat forward. So you have the access and the way to getting to that third row seat. Now, before we jump over to the third row seating, I wanna show you guys, now I'm about six feet, two inches. And let's do a space test. So leg room is clear and this seat is pretty far back. The head clearance is completely there. So for long road trip, I will say this is a check, okay? You have the sun visors here on the right and left. That is a very cool feature here in this Elite. Remember, you will not see sun visors in different trims of the Honda Pilots, okay? You also can bunny hop this seat here, the 40 and the 40 by a button here too. So you got two ways to bunny hop that seat, all right? Now let's go ahead and jump inside the third row seating. Third row seating, I wanna show you guys what it kinda looks like if it's in the regular look, okay? Now it is going to be a little bit more compact back here and you just wanna take that into consideration. But honestly, for a tall person, my leg room is clear. I'm maybe a few inches away from the second row seating and head clearance is completely there. That is a super cool uh, thing because a lot of times on the three-seater SUVs, literally, I will be touching the head, of uh, the, the visor up top or the, um, the canvas or whatever you wanna call it, the headliner. And um, it literally feels so compact, but not here on this Pilot, a little bit more spacious. On the right and left hand side of this third row seating, cup holders with your air vents. If you got dogs and animals or people back here, you get, vents, USB-A plugins on the right and the left, okay? So pretty much 
straight to the point, third bench. One thing you got to pay attention to that it did simplify. So no more perforated leather seating here in the back. It does come with the leather wrap, but it's not perforated. Okay. So that's something to take into consideration. Now, as promised, guys, here is the MSRP sticker to this Pilot Elite trim. So you guys get an exact idea what comes with this car and the price tag on top. Again, if you do appreciate our channel, please tap that like button, subscribe to our channel, keep watching, stay tuned. We have more cool things coming. Thanks, guys, for watching our channel. God bless you.